Hello, hello, and hello. This is Primus Invin here, getting right back into our Civ 6 series. And this is part 3 of our series, and I will be attempting to further expand my influence on my continent, as well as potentially eliminate the other two civilizations on my continents. In order to, be to begin, allow me to move my units in, in the hopes of capturing Dramen. I think that I have a reasonable chance of capturing Dramen early in the game, which would help me immensely if I could capture Dramen. It would also reduce Harold Hedrada's influence. So yeah, capturing Dramen is definitely a must. And we're now in the medieval era. So let me quickly speak of a few words on how you can build these industrial zones. Industrial zones will be incredibly helpful for your long-term development in Civ 6. This is because they can provide massive production bonuses that cannot be found anywhere else in the entire game. Building an industrial zone in one of your cities will pretty much guarantee that that city has a high production count for the game, which of course is something that you want. Now let me move in my units to attack Dramen. It's probably going to take a bit longer because, because my units are low in health and will need to heal up, but after that it should be all fine. Uh, let's send a road to the front lines. Um, I think it would be convenient to send a road to St. Peter's, but it would help establish good trading routes. So let's start. Give ourselves a road there. Uh, let's move in our, another warrior. Time to get into a position where we can encircle drum, drum man. Uh, maybe we might actually be able to find his capital here. Hopefully his capital is nearby. Uh, let's just quickly fortify, and yeah, let's just move our soldiers in. The faster we can take this guy, the better. Uh, let's see if he'll cope with my demands now. Uh, okay, I could probably- he's- he's- he's already fighting a joint war with Cleopatra. And he's also met the other two sieves, probably because he's explored the seas. My troops are merely passing by. Of course they're not. I don't know how he fell for that. My troops are 100% not just casually passing by. But hey, he seemed to believe me. And uh, let's get ready to en absolutely encircle this guy. Move on him from all fronts and keep on pumping our envoys into Mahanjo Dara. Non Nan Madel, on the other hand, has some valuable iron, so I'm considering hammering it into oblivion. Uh, let me ch Yeah, Mahanjo Dara is a good city-state because they give the fresh water bonus to all your cities even if they don't actually have fresh water, which can be extremely valuable. Uh, let's see, where would be a good spot to build a prediction? Uh, an industrial zone. Okay, this seems like a relatively good spot. But yeah, let's just continue scouting out this landscape. Okay, it looks like I found Sarpsborg. Not, sh not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it won't matter because it'll soon be mine. Yeah, I'm about to totally attack this man from all angles, take all his stuff, and then quickly eliminate him from history. Harold Hadrada has a bit of an intimidating military force, but with my soldiers on the front lines, I think I'll be able to overwhelm him. He has he probably has a lot of soldiers, but I have both a lot and well-trained soldiers. Yeah, these Eagle Warriors are completely broken in the early game. But uh, with St. Petersburg, we're going to quickly erect ourselves a water mill, and we're going to and we're going to make our move on. What's this? What's his face? Uh, Harold Hadrada. So we're going to call up Peter on the telephone. Okay, you want to be 
Uh, what else? If I give you... Come on, come on, come on. Okay, never mind. You only do it for cities. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to war you on your own. Harold, you're gonna... Okay, Harold, Harold, you're gonna give me this piece of iron. Okay, looks like you're paying your tribute. Uh, you're gonna give me this whale and your marble. Uh, you're gonna give me some gold per turn. Oh, oh, is that the case? Is that the case? You don't want to pay up? Alright, I guess I'll just ask for it on your next turn then. But you probably still won't pay up because of how the AI mechanics work. Or they won't pay up if you asked for it recently enough. But yeah, he paid his tribute, so I guess I'll leave him alone. Now let's just quickly grab the feudal contract. Uh, let's get civil service as well. Maybe we can sell an alliance to Cleopatra for some quick funds. Oh, uh, let's see. Can we can we settle a city here? Hey, I really don't care about making this city actually grow, but I guess it could be useful in the very far future. Uh, what could I purchase that would make it more this city more profitable? It looks like it's never gonna grow unless I get it a granary or something. Uh, let's see if I can make another demand from the Herald. Uh, give me some Jeep. Make deal? Okay, you're gonna give me some gold per turn. I'm gonna give you a luxury. Uh, how about if I throw in two luxuries? Oh, still only one? Okay. If I give you- if I throw in a luxury and I give you a horse, how much are you willing to pay me? And never mind. Five gold per turn is enough. And then, of course, I'm gonna demand some more gold, you know. Give me an extra free gold per turn. Okay, never mind. I would war you, but I've already demanded all your stuff and I don't really want to risk it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to produce here. An eagle warrior is going to take 18 turns, but I guess I'll just have to cope. Okay, uh, even though the main force of my warriors isn't done with its task, I'm going to need to focus on getting revenge on the barbarians. Yeah, they're probably going to sack my city soon if I don't do much. So, yeah. Okay, the barbarians are still annoying as, as bleep, but luckily it seems like I'm getting closer to actually being able to take that archer out. Fortifying my warriors means we'll probably be able to all out rush them. And that's if I don't turn on Cleopatra. Okay, let's attack again. Okay, this time I killed it. Uh, let's just quickly move more units in. You know, it never hurt anybody to get an extra builder to repair the damage caused by the Barbarian. Oh, you wanted to announce me, huh? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Uh, P oh, Peter, do you want to be erased from existence? Is that is that what it is? Is that what it is? Apparently, you want to be erased from existence. Okay, apparently, you want to be erased from existence. Okay, so apparently, you you'll... Let me see. I know you say, uh, would you do it for a city? Two cities? Okay, no, you wouldn't be able to give up your work for anything. I was hoping maybe a city or two might cut the deal, but no, you, you're not, you're just not cool with that. Oh, you're, all of a sudden you think you're in a position to take, make demands from me? I'm the one with an army surrounding two of your cities. In fact, something tells me that if you make another demand, then I might just declare war on you and beat the out of you. Yeah, you know, I'm just a bit frankly offended that he decided he was going to make a demand, especially when my army is right here and could eliminate him from history anytime I want. Oh yeah, okay, I know we've been go having our kind of chill war going on here for the longest time, but I think I'm just going to quickly repair the encampment before I try to move on him to end his reign. Uh, let's see. In just a little, I'm gonna quickly move on him to end. Um, uh, let's see. So we got an industrial zone up and running. Oh wow, this city is actually extremely productive. I can churn out these eagle warriors every two turns. Okay, now it just looks like I gotta max out this at a workshop. Okay, you're sending out berserkers to the battlefield. Uh, we're clearly not going to have a war here, you know, we're just 
there are just two of us and we're just, you know, lining up our armies right next to each other, definitely, there's definitely no conflict breaking out, you know, we're definitely not going to engage in any sort of military confrontation anytime soon. Any allegations that, uh, tensions are escalating is completely false. Yeah, we're just peacefully lining up two, uh, two f fighting forces right next to each other, you know, it's just completely peaceful. We're just lining it up to impress each other, you know, yeah, there's no fighting here, there's no fighting. Okay, I know you've given me a lot of things and it's going to damage me to declare a war on you right now, but you've really crossed the line, man, to make a demand of me. I mean, I make demands of you 24-7, but you're in no position to make demands of me. You know, in fact, I think I should train up a few more Eagle Warriors before uh, elaborating this using force. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna pay the price. Uh, formal war. Okay, apparently you'll think this will make a great saga. Yeah, it's definitely going to make a great saga when you no longer exist. Sure, you have berserkers and I don't. So I guess that's going to be a bit of a problem. But other than that, I'm going to rush your cities. Your berserkers really aren't that good on their own. In fact, yeah, I'm just going to completely surround and isolate your city. And then after that, you're probably going to... Yeah. Yeah, you're probably going to end up begging for mercy from this, so I don't know why we're going to war here, but yeah, let me just... Just an ideal time to rush you. Okay. Yep, I'm, I'm totally just going to move at you from all angles. Yeah, you probably don't stand a chance, do you? Yeah, if I just move my troops and you don't... Yeah, you, don't, you probably don't stand much of a chance, do you? I kind of wish I could, didn't have to do this to you, but you decided... To denounce me, so you're gonna pay the price. No one speaks badly about me. No other empires speak badly about me in public. Sure, you have a navy and I don't, but your navy can't really capture my cities yet, so I'm not too worried about it. In fact, I would say I have no naval units, but I'm chilling. I'm just fine. Yep, sure, you captured my builder, but hey, I stole that builder from you in the first place. What do I care? Yep, I'm just gonna rush you from all angles. You pretty much don't stand a chance anymore. And your city is now my city. Yep, just a casual invasion. You know, Draman is totally my city now. Oh, but yeah, it looks like you're being a bit resistant, so I might have to use uh, some brute, some interest, some unique and interesting brute force tactics to take over Sarsborg. Especially since you erected those walls. I do not appreciate that. I do not appreciate that at all that you decided that you were gonna quickly just erect some walls over Sarbsborg. In fact, I think that I'm going to need to tear down those same those walls you just erected. So yeah, if you just continue like this, just continue with the warring. Pretty soon I'm gonna get a nice peace treaty. Because you're probably scared out of your mind as usual that I con that I conquered one of your cities. And yeah, that's just how it works around here. You get scared out of your mind if I conquer one of your cities. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to fortify myself and yeah, just hold hold my ground. You, you probably only have ancient walls around that structure, right? So if I just, yeah, I'll probably be fine. I don't, I can't attack you directly, but yeah, since you only have ancient walls, I'm gonna be completely fine. Yeah, especially because I already have my battering ram down here. Uh, yeah, it, it's not really doing much of a purpose, but hey, it's going to be useful soon. And it looks like I finally got a builder to repair some of the damage that's been caused throughout my empire. Okay, apparently Bodica wants to go somewhere. I think going here would be a pretty nice position. Uh, yeah, the Berserkers are not nice. They're better on attack than defense, which seems a bit flawed until you realize that he usually uses them. They can usually one-shot most of your units. Yeah, Herald of Drada is not a fun opponent to fight in the early game. Yeah, definitely not fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly build a pasture over this so I get some extra horses, you know. Okay, Cleopatra, are we still friends? Okay, you don't want to be friends. 
Okay, apparently you forgot the the favorable trade deals I sent you. Okay, here you go. Take some free take some free stuff. Alright. What would you give me? Uh Okie dokie, only a s That's all you're you're willing to give me, really? Okay, let me make a few demands. I know I'm s I know you're my friend, but yeah, you know what? You're gonna get denounced. Alright, you're you're probably gonna attack me soon, but you don't have many cities, so you probably don't have a large army. Uh let's see if I can negotiate peace with Feral Pedrada. Because I really don't want to draw out this conflict any longer than I have to. I just want to return to peace and then of course start the war up like 10 turns later. Yeah, that's that's just how we like to run it around here. Start a war. Once we take a city, immediately sue for peace. And since the AI is kind of short-sighted, they don't realize that you just took their city and ran. Uh, yeah, let's just churn out some more Eagle Warriors. Pretty soon, I'm gonna just have to start churning out horsemen, but for now, Eagle Warriors are, will, do, will do the trick. Oh, and adding your Berserker there probably is a move that... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to compete with that Berserker, so I'm just gonna quickly run out here. Yeah, my unit's low on the city. will only do extra damage. Yep. Yeah, my unit's just gonna. D yeah, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna run out of here. Uh, is that caught in a luxury resource I see? Oh, and is this silk? Okay, looks like I gotta quickly claim these tiles. Because, yeah, the, Az the Aztecs get seriously broken when it comes to getting t when it comes to getting luxury resources. Like I said in my first video in this series, when you get all 16. Yeah, that's when you really get into the brokenness. Okay, you're gonna continue bombarding my army, despite my best efforts. Uh, look, did I spawn with any niter? Okay, looks like there's no niter nearby, so I think I'm gonna have to quickly expand my borders. Um, for, I'm purposely delaying getting the iron working. Getting iron working. Yeah, getting iron working would force me to stop building my ego warriors and i don't have the iron to build swordsmen yet so it'd actually be bad for me to stop getting iron working but yeah i'm gonna bring your berserker super low on hit points at which point it'll just be a walk in the park to take it to the floor but for some reason peter won't agree to any of my demands so yeah once i finish up my war with harold harold i'm pretty sure that the other two will agree to my demands yeah, for the most part, my demands are actually pretty reasonable. When I say reasonable, I don't mean entirely reasonable. I mean, you know, just... I'm not asking for anything too significant to your country, just all your resources, all your money, you know? I don't see anything too bad with asking that for that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, let's just get another luxury resource up and running, and then we'll be even further clear. But yeah, I gotta move my soldiers out of there because I cannot contest with your city if you get, if you erect yourself some walls. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna just casually steal your settler, and then on if you don't take it back next turn, then I'm just gonna plop it right down. Okay, I know the settler is in an absolutely terrible location, but I feel like I'm just going to plop down a city. Okie dokie, settler, where do you want to plop down a city from me? Uh, where do you want to plop down a city? Uh, Eagle Warrior, you're going to run to your death to damage this swordsman. Uh, other Eagle Warrior, you're going to kill this swordsman. Okay, yeah, I feel like I'm just in the clear. I'm going to be able to sue for peace soon, and then... I'll just rinse and repeat in a few turns. But yeah, we're gonna end this war with some more early conquests. I know it's not as glorious as our last episode, but I think we got some good infrastructure now that we're getting a good industrial base. Once I add in a few more industrial zones, maybe one in every city, then we'll really have an industrial base that we can brag about. So let's just keep on trying to move our units in. Uh, we're gonna have to control the NIDER reserves. I don't know where most of the niter is, but I know that it's soon going to be mine. Oh, what else? Let's see. I, I can't purchase that tile yet. I'm not exactly sure which shivs have all the, are hiding all the niter, but 
yeah, it's pretty soon it's going to be mine anyway, so it won't ex ex exactly matter. Uh, let's just continue hitting the next turn button. Uh, Russia, where's your where's your money? Okay, you're gonna. Okay, okay, you're you're not very cooperative, it seems. I think you're still a bit pissed that I occupy your capital. Yeah, I, you really don't have that much of a reason to get angry. You know, I just occupied your capital. You really, it's really not justifiable that you're ang so angry at me. Uh, let's see if I can plop down a campus. Uh, I mean. You would ruin my industrial zone. Well, I don't really have anything going there other than the mine. So yeah, removing the campus would probably hurt, but not hurt that much. So it would, thinking about it, it would probably be worth it. Also, uh, why can't my settler just plop down? I mean, sure, it's wartime, but what stops my settler from just plopping down? I would found a city here. I don't know what's going wrong. Maybe it's, yeah. Okay. My scaling of the map is a bit skewed, but nonetheless, my warrior is going to move in. Uh, this warrior is going there, and yeah, other than that, I'm fine now. Oh, you have a navy, darn it. Yeah, I completely forgot that you had a navy, which decided to annoy me. And I don't have a navy to really fight back. So yeah, I think you're just going to take my city because it's coastal, but... Not if I settle the war. Yeah, now that I upgraded to the military government. Monarchy, I'm going to be able to quickly get some conscription going. Uh, I think I'm also going to be able to get chivalry. Yeah, I should be even more useful. Send an envoy. Who am I going to send it to? Geneva seems pretty good. Geneva Convention, am I right? Unfortunately for the citizens that live in the empires controlled by me and Harold, uh, we don't exactly follow the Geneva Convention in this game. Uh, let's go back. Let's see, can I build my industrial zone? Now please tell me there's a good spot to build my industrial zone. Okay, I guess that's an, only an average spot, but I guess my industrial zone is going to go there. Uh, what can I build over here? Okay, it seems like you're giving me a bit of trouble with that quadrant, but I think I'm just going to let you capture my city. I can't really do anything about it. Yeah, that's kind of the inherent downside of not ha really having a, a naval force whatsoever. But pretty soon, I'm gonna get musket men, and then that's gonna completely change everything. I know you're assaulting my city, so, uh, but can we strike a peace deal? Okay, you're you have to give up. Okay, let's see if I can get something valuable in this peace deal. Okay, you're not willing to trade over that valuable piece of iron, no matter what I offer to give you. But, uh, are you willing to give me this, this? Okay, you're, you're clearly not on board with this cause. You know, this is not how peace arrangements exist. You're clearly not that pissed that I was able to take two of your cities. But, uh, let's see if I, you agree to my demands, you know? Uh, give me it. No, you're not willing to give me it? Okay, you must have built some kind of military right now. Uh, it still says my military is better than yours, but my military is a bit out of date. I did get a great profit, though. Pro probably because I conquered a bunch of holy sites. I don't know how owning a bunch of holy sites attracts a great profit, but hey, I'm just gonna roll with it. Not, not asking questions. But yeah, seriously, if you're if you guys are wondering, if you have the holy sites produce faith, and but more importantly, they produce great profit points, which you need to get a great profit. I think the religion, you know, I'm just gonna casually call my religion what I always call it. Uh, let's just call it custom religion, divide et impera, aka divide and conquer. I think that sounds like a pretty good name for my religion. Okay, what are my religion beliefs? Okay, I guess. I, I guess feed the world seems like a pretty nice religion belief. And what else? Is there... Uh, a holy order sounds pretty nice, but scripture is also pretty good. Okay, I quickly just founded my own religion. 
but my faith production is extremely low, so I'm not so it's not going to be a very widespread religion. I'm going to establish a new trade route to draw it. And pretty soon I'm gonna start warring. Cleopatra. She's the only person on my continent I haven't really uh, given a formal war to. But yeah, before I do that, I'm gonna try to occupy this time. Uh, I need some more gold to do it though. Yep, your chariot. Uh, apparently I can't settle a city there. Maybe it's due to having some sort of border issue, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly pivot. Let's see if this guy's willing to pay, pay my demands. Uh, yeah, your nation is broke. I forgot. Uh, yeah, I, I totally forgot that your nation is just entirely broke. Uh, Cleopatra, you're get, you're gonna give. I'm only gonna demand this once, and if you don't accept, then my next demand is going to be a lot less forgiving. Yeah, my military isn't really in position to take Cleopatra, but once I get musket men, my military issues are gonna be completely solved because they're pretty much broken. Especially if you can get them before anyone else. Yeah, I just feel amazing that I did a legit tech skip where I just completely skipped an entire tech. Uh, but let's see, Chalco is actually in a pretty high production base. Area. Uh, but let's just, yeah, it has a pretty high production base. But I feel like, yeah, a granary would be nice. Uh, yeah, now we're just going to play for some early infrastructure. Uh, your people settled to close. You should consider my people will settle where they please. Okay, apparently there's some far off capital. No, that's just a new. I thought it was a capital I found or something. Uh, who am I going to send an envoy to? Okay, it looks like Mahandro Dero is getting an extra envoy. To max out my culture pro production. Even though I don't really have any culture square districts. So I'm not getting my money's worth when it comes to culture production. This is all you're willing to pay me for a great work of art. How dare you? You're not willing to pay me any... You want a great work of art and this is all you're willing to give up. Hell no. I'm refusing. You seem incredibly pissed at me, but yeah. I would go to war again if I hadn't already been warring, you know. Uh, Peter didn't. Peter kind may or may not have ignored my first demand. Uh, let me see if he's scared enough to. Uh oh, you wanna you wanna treat me like that, huh? 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 Never mind. Okay, you're good. You're, ooh, you got some gold per turn on you. Okay, you're gonna hand over your gold, otherwise I'm gonna slaughter you. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Uh, yeah, it totally seems like the time to crank out some more items, but, uh, would this be a good time to whip out a commercial hub or something? I guess maybe it would, but, yeah, most likely, yeah, whipping out a commercial hub would be nice, because my nation is kind of not making, not being the most profitable right now. Yeah, but now that Peter is paying us, we're gonna be actually making profit. But, uh, yeah. Peter, again, agreed to our re our relatively reasonable demands. But our old friend Cleopatra has now become our enemy, so we're, I'm gonna quickly pivot and go for Cleopatra. I'll, let me call Harold up. Uh, how much is he willing to go for a joint war on Cleo? Uh, how interested are you in joint- Uh, no, you're not well interested in joint one, Peter. Uh, would you be willing to give me some money to join more Peter? Uh, yeah, that seems like a reasonable amount of money. But, I also think you'd be willing to just hand it over. Okay, you know what? You're gonna get denounced. Denounced. Yeah, not paying your tribute is a good way to get denounced. Uh, but yeah, let's just quickly erect up a library. It should give us some extra science per turn. Yeah, my military is just absolutely laying into everyone else. They're not even putting up a fight. 
In terms of score, I'm also the uncontested leader, partially because I've been stealing everyone else's land. I have a lot of cities. Yeah, so if I maybe I'll take out Cleo, but mostly this is just gonna be an infrastructure based episode. I I mean I had an early war with Harold and that was fun, but yeah, now I'm just gonna be an infrastructure in a bit infrastructure based. Uh, now that I've gotten off to a rather solid start, I think this is a good time to call it an episode. I'm gonna quickly get gunpowder, but that requires strokes first. But yeah, no, this is gonna be a good, a pretty solid time to call it an episode. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy.